When you're working with embroidery lettering, you might find that you need to access some characters that aren't on your standard keyboard. How do you do that? Uh, the easiest way for me, I think, is to uh, either have your customer email you exactly what they want, and you can copy it out of their special characters and all and paste it into your lettering box, or if it's handwritten or you need to type it out, um, access uh, those special characters using the character map, which is standard to uh, your Windows operating system. So let's start by uh, clicking on the lettering tool. We'll click on screen. I'm going to hit enter to bring up my lettering property so I can begin typing in this box. And if I needed a, a special character, um, you can access that again through that character map. So I would go through Windows, find that character map. I do it uh, by clicking on my search and just typing uh, character map on my start bar. Uh, it is going to come up and look a lot like this. And from here, move this over and let's get that back again. So from here, I can scroll down through and find whatever character I'm looking for. So if I wanted, um, I don't know, an Enya maybe, I could find that, double click on it, and that will bring it down here to copy. You could spell your whole word out this way, um, but you can just select it, copy it, and then paste it into Design Shop. Now, if that character does not exist, it will tell you that it does not exist in that alphabet, so it's not going to show. However, if you have an alphabet that it does exist in, so not all alphabets have them. Block 2, this one doesn't have any of them, but if I go down to, let's see, Athletic Block, if I look at the preview, I can see that, yeah, it does, or um, Children's Slab does. So I'm going to do that. I'll hit Apply, and that Enya will appear on screen. So you can absolutely type out and use um, any of those Euro characters or any of the special characters that are a little bit hard to find. If you know the code uh, for what you're trying to do, you can also uh, type that code in while holding Alt. Um, I find it honestly a little hard to remember all of those codes, so I tend to go in and look for them in that character map. Again, if you know the name of it, uh, you can even look that up. So if I was going, um, so let's go into advanced view. And if I knew that I was looking for something in Old Welsh, because I apparently type a lot in Old Welsh, I could look for the F search and I get that character. It's a small Latin, uh, small letter F, or uh, the one is a capital letter F, and I could double click to bring that in here again, copy it and then paste it in here if that was a character that was in the alphabet that I had. So pay attention to those previews. That's going to give you a, a nice set of what's available in those. Now, if the preview is rendered and uh, shows in kind of 3D, that was one that was generated here. If you're looking at one for a uh, true type, those are rendered on the fly so those don't have a complete preview but if you're using a true type you can set your character map which i apparently just closed let me pull that back up again um, you can select that true type from this drop down and if it's available in here then you know that that glyph is available to you So you now have access to a lot of different types of characters. Um, you've got those special characters available to you, those Euro characters. So if you need them, you now know how to access them.